Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2, where I can open up this door. No, okay, find a way into the projection booth. That is our goal for today. I ain't certain when and how. But maybe that is the key. Ah, uh, no, that ain't. All right, maybe, just maybe. I just need to switch the scene. Uh, what is then gonna happen? Because what we have noticed, switching. Well, sometimes it's helping. Wait a second. It doesn't get over. But let's see. Ah, quicker. That's what I wanted to say. Ah, okay. We are not able to switch scenes in here. That's too bad. Not able to get through there. I just want to make utterly certain. Okay, no way. It's too bad. Oh, but... Thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, one more change of scenery, you guys. Now, the booth is online. Following your master into La La Land. A sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods pretending to be a secret society. Well, maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. A puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. Nightless night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. Okay, watch the fragment of the film. Yeah, that. W oh, sorry. That we can do. Let's switch the scene the, to the clip of the lost. Hello, come on. There we go. And then let's see what is actually gonna be coming up. I could scream, but I stay calm, as usual. That was we, may, maybe the wrong piece would was standing there like a bleeding idiot. What I did, uh, maybe I just ju should have walked. Oh boy, please not. Yeah, crap me. Maybe I just should have walked to. Oh. I should have saved in between. I'm sorry, I'm I'm there a little bit annoyed with myself, not with the game. That is quite apparent. I do hope. Give me just a sec here. Alright, I saved. We need now or we can now watch the scene, have a safe game. I mean yes, it just have been four or five minutes. 
well just um but that's not gonna be in the episode then that's good fine with me <laughs> That ended quickly, right? Oh boy. I don't know why or what I did different before. I mean, not before, like, two episodes before or ten minutes ago, but in the beginning of the game. It, I noticed that with Saga 2, that things got more difficult for me. Um... Good, one down. Two down. Okay, I will even go the extra mile. I'm sorry, I'm afraid. I'm gonna quickly save and then we are gonna try to run the clip again and finally, finally progress then. There is wishful thinking, well, maybe not that much of a wishful thinking thingy, but anyways. Um, yeah, we are down now in shotgun ammunition. Um, that's just how it is. Uh, I've got to live with that. Still have 24 shots with the pistol. And we do have um, the flashbang and the flash pistol or the good pistol. What is this? Zane was in the clip holding my lamp. Was he playing me in his film? Zane's lamp on the screen had no light. I could transfer the light in my lamp to his. The light of the lamp shone out of the screen and revealed the door. No, that door. Okay, let's go there. Thank you. And am I able, wait a second, we have one more thing, I before I go through that door, ah, that door, okay, I see, wait, there we go, come on, go full circle, go full circle, Zane were a bottomless rabbit hole. I'd done some digging. To film freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema. A rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film. Tom the Poet. Before he went missing. Mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie. Played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film and early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wake's books were. 
All right. Yeah, fair enough. And yes, I did make the mistake. I first of all thought that door. But no, that door. That's just the exit, right? I was back out into the night. The seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds. Yeah, first things first. Before we change anything here. I will have a quick look around. Even though that bears obviously the risk of getting into an engagement. Yeah, great. There is a parent. Just want to see if there's any sort of loot around. That is always a good thing to do, I think. I that is something... To figure out a way forward. Thank you, I know. That's maybe something... But that's... We are quickly through here. That's maybe something I have did wrong in the section with Saga. Where I actually did not look around more. But we have safe game capabilities here. That's neat. Okay, safe. No, thank you. And I am... Okay, let's leave that there. Nothing, and that means we can reload. Always keep loaded up, right? Yeah, the game's filling us up with ammunition. Who would have guessed? Alright! Now I'm a little bit afraid, but... Let's see. I guessed. I wonder what has changed. I don't put someone had fallen to their death don't. from the rooftop. Yeah, I know. And there's something down here. I can't go down there. Is there a way to climb maybe up? Otherwise, I am going to change the scene again. Okay, there's a vision spot. We see a blackish spot. It would be actually for today before we change scenes. Okay, I don't see the black bubble. Okay, let's go there. Police car, not important to the story. I guess it is. I knew I was making progress. I had to keep going. But again, I do not see the door. I bet it's going to be close, but guys, we will go on here in the next episode. Then I will try to see if we can get that vision to work, so to say. Oh, wait, okay, let's take that with us. No, come on. Give me. Nearly. Come on. They're gonna want Think they're gonna want us to, like, cut off a finger or something for this initiation, do you? Nah. 
I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven. Okay, guys, that then right now is going to bring us to the ex next, to the end of this episode. And I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If I guess actually you have enjoyed today's episode, then please give me a teensy little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.